All right, guys, so I do have to get a little bit taller tripod for this thing. <laughs> so you're going to get like a down the hill or a, an up view look of me. It's going to look funny. But uh, I did go back and three flex these airs with AAE Stealth, uh, or sorry, AAE Max veins. I've never had a problem out of these. For some reason, every time I flex tack veins, I can't get them to stick. I just want you guys to see some of these shots of this thing. It's just so smooth. It's quiet as quietest bow I've ever ever shot. And I know I talk up a lot of them. Well, I thought that them PSE bows that I have were great, but this is night and day. I'd actually hit that air with another air and knock that vein loose and it just came off there. That was, I shouldn't have shot that air. ring I had a guy ask me in one of the comments what release I was using and it's a Stan uh, Profex uh, the, the, the three uh, the four finger I like the four finger on these higher draw bows less chance of it slipping out of your hand I've done that and I put a release through uh, one of my PSC Evos my, my knock on Evo I have a video of it. It's not good. I'm trying to aim at different spots. Aim at different spots that way. I don't hit arrows, but keeping it all in the tin ring. Now tomorrow we'll be shooting at a. Uh, Carolina bow hunters and it's all up and downhill. I really need to be practicing that and I'm not. I'm just shooting flat. So if I do bad tomorrow, that's why. I Let's go look at that group. It's gonna be good. And I'm just at 40 yard because I want to shoot the known 40 class. So um uh, I walked off 40. I came up here earlier today and uh, I was getting some really bad, really, really, really bad shots. I'm like, what the heck? They were super low. Well, from what my rangefinder was telling me was 40 yard, it was five yards off. So I've got to get a rangefinder. Or um, if anybody has one that they want to trade, I've got a Hamsky primer. That was on one of my bows and I might have like a release or something. I have a Scott Ascent release. I want to sell both of those and probably get a range finder with it. So I've got the Hamsky primer and a uh, Scott Ascent hinge I'll sell. It's the medium. I don't ever shoot it, I don't, I don't care to shoot a hinge. Um, so yeah, if any of y'all want it, I'll sell them together. 150 bucks, I think that's a good deal. And I'll ship it, I'll pay shipping. And uh, and guy will vouch for me that bought the other stuff from me. I normally have it out the same day. So let's go look at these groups. Oh, let's see here. Okay. Nice. I blew the veins off one of them. I stacked them in there too close on that last shot and shot it off. So I got to re-glue that one. That's all right. I have plenty of them. Look at that. Oh, all in the tin ring stuffed. Stuffed. I think I did shoot one high, but that's okay. 
Let's shoot some more here. All right, so hopefully the wind doesn't blow this off my car, but I, this is the zoom capability. So this is 40 yard and this is my uh, my iPhone 13. And look how well that thing zooms into that, that target. So I'm gonna send some down there, let you guys see the impact. Turns out my arrow actually shot through. I think this these Delta McKenzie's are trash. Just so y'all know, uh, this is a brand new target. I mean, it's not but a couple months old, and uh, it just won't hold the arrows. See it? I was, in the, I was aiming for 12, so we hammered the first one in the 12. The other one might have cut the 12. Definitely would have if I'd have used the. Uh, PS23 for an X cutter. Nice. Yeah, those tack veins would have came off right there. And I know people have a good luck with tacks. I just wish that I did. Ow. All right, I'm gonna get these pulled out because I just stabbed myself in the hand. All right, guys, so I just narrowly avoided a, a possible crisis for tomorrow. So it's bullet holing now. But I got to shooting at 60 yards and I was crazy low. Like, low, low. A foot low. And uh, I went up there and shot on the dang field face. He's, I'm like, man, if any of y'all local, I need some more clothes to stuff this thing with. I, I need old t-shirts, anything that you're going to throw away. I've got to, I got to, re, there to repack my rag box because it, it screwed up. But um, I'd, I'd forgotten to tighten that down. And as I was shooting, it progressively moved down. And uh, I had to re put it back in time, but everything's torqued now. So I'm gonna go get this thing sighted back in right quick, get ready for tomorrow. That was scary. All right, so um, video's kind of bouncing around a bit. Uh, we had like the league night thing tonight and I kind of forgot about it up here at Bowman. And all I had was my hunting, or my, my new Matthews, so. I went ahead and cracked off an indoor round with it. Shot a 275, which was pretty bad, considering I can shoot a 300 with my TRX. But I mean, I was shooting micro diameters and no magnification. So I'm not upset about that. And it's a new setup. I'm just still learning the bow. So I need you guys' help. Tomorrow, we got a 3D tournament. Should I shoot the V3X 33? Or should I shoot the TRX? I don't know. But you guys have a good one. It's just a little, little video. Y'all have a good one.